The chase for the Sprint Cup could get another shakeup as Fox Sports was first to report on a communication exchange during last Saturday's race at Richmond where David Gilliland was allegedly asked to give up a position to help Joey Logano earn a spot in the chase. Here now is the exclusive audio of the exchange laid over real-time broadcast video of the race. Frank, go to channel two for a second. You got me? Hey, the 22 is requesting that we give him this spot at the end of the race. They said they need it just to make sure that they're locked in. And they said they'd probably be able to help us in the future with whatever, you know. So I'm just running that by you. I didn't want to run it over the other channel. So we can back up that far. Time to go, David. Nine, right now, nine. All clear. 22 could really use the spot we got, bud. Dave, we're going to have to let this 22 go. He's about a half a straightaway back. He's the only position we can lose. There's eight to go. He's about a half a straightaway back. P24, you'll only finish P25. Got a spin right here. Never mind. Got a spin. Caution is out. I'll let you know what's going on here, but it was pretty big. All right, one to go at the line. Only person we're racing on our lap, make sure I have this correct, is the 22. Correct. We know what we need to do. 10 4, he's right here with me. Later. In fact, you tell that spotter up there, it better pay big. Uh, it's not the spotter, it's the whole committee. The committee knows what I've been asking for. We got the big dogs, we're getting all of his cronies. Well, that Travis knows what I've been asking for. Still needs it coming to the green. You ready? Ready? Green, green, green. He's right behind you there. He's two back off of you in your lane. Inside, inside 22. He's struggling bad here. Three wide, three wide. Just take care of your car. There you go. Good job, man. Good job. Hopefully you get something out of that. Now, NASCAR issued this statement on Wednesday afternoon, NASCAR is aware of reports about the number 22 and number 38 radio communications at Richmond International Raceway and is looking into it, but is yet to see anything in full context that requires any action. Here is our NASCAR Race Hub crew in Charlotte with more. In the race on Saturday night, Joey Logano finished 22nd. David Gilliland came home in the 23rd position. With us now, NASCAR on Fox analyst Jeff Hammond. You've heard the audio. What's your reaction? Well, I, this is things I've been hearing all my life. I mean, not to this degree, but, you know, we've seen this a lot of times, folks. I mean, this is not something that just happened at Richmond on Saturday night. It's been going on. I've been around this sport for over 30 years, and any time you get down toward the end of the year when the championship's on the line or trying to make the chase, you're going to hear stuff like this. Jeff, as a former crew chief, explain to the casual fan who may be watching what the implications are for the teams, the drivers, and the sponsors, which uh, obviously the risk versus the reward, but a lot on the line. Well, uh, for the casual fan, if you're a, a, a stick and ball person, at the end of the year, what are you really looking for? The playoffs. And this is what NASCAR's version of the playoffs is all about. And making that is such a huge deal. You go start this year, this time, right now, they're already thinking about 2014. And these teams have been working all season long to get through those first 26 races so they could make it to the chase and have an opportunity to win a championship. Millions of dollars and millions of hours have probably gone into trying to make a chase in one year. And this is huge for Joey Logano, who would be making his first ever trip to NASCAR's version of the playoffs. And speaking of NASCAR, they released a statement on Wednesday, but they have not said for sure if there will be any sanctions handed down for that 22 team. We'll continue to keep you posted.